Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of star-crossed lovers that love reacting to some StarCraft too. Hell yeah, we do. So for this month, we uh, introduced a new thing on Mondays. It's called a Monthly Monday Showcase. And so for every Monday in January, we're going to be reacting to some StarCraft. And uh, last week we did StarCraft, the, like, we got sort of like a five minute quick little rundown of the story so far uh, for StarCraft. And now we're going to jump into uh, Wings of Liberty. Yeah. They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder, how well do you know yourself? This is a trailer. Yes, he is. He's very beefy. accusations there. When they like have like genetically altered everyone and like, kind of like having that big giant suit. Yeah, because again, I'm wondering like, what happens if this dude needs to pee? It's you're again on the pee thing. But I mean, like they're screwing him in, so like it's a legitimate question. Yeah, I mean, I think they probably have something like built in there, or they're just you know think you're gonna die before you have to pee. So. He has a little like sticker on there. Mm -hmm. Hail, it's about term. Here we go. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Three times. Western. And in other news today, Emperor Arcturus Magnus killed a press conference commemorating the end of the so-called brute war some four years ago. Our own Kate Lockwell was on the scene. Emperor, the threat of a new Zerg invasion is still very real, but instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down half-big rebels like Jim Rayner. Jim Rayner represents a clear and present threat to this dominion. He is an unscrupulous, lawless revolutionary bent on spreading fear and dissension across the sector. He and his ragtag band of miscreants have instigated open rebellion across the sector. We got a thing for rebels. Pretty combination of the red hair and green eyes. 
Sim. It ain't over till it's over, you son of a bitch. Definitely a cowboy. <laughs> Adjutant, are my troops ready yet? Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Quite the reputation that precedes him. Mm When they let you out. <laughs> nice suit. <laughs> Pays to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. Oh! <laughs> That was badass. So to what do I owe the pleasure? I mean, to be able to this aim like that. Friendly business proposition. To move slowly and have the fly do alley. Do you even <laughs> know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for him. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tychus? Partners, then. 60-40. 70-30. My way. Hmm. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. I'm liking the vibe of this. Yeah. Where's the glass keeps falling like that? <laughs> Damn, Jimmy. You've been holding out on me. Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. Looks like he jumped to light speed. Mm -hmm. What the hell happened? We ain't seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. We need to see this. Service will launch the full scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all outer ring clusters. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Damn. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Sweet mother of mercy. Different exclusive video footage confirms the Queen of Blaze is in fact leading the swarm. Yeah. I was wondering how long it was gonna take for her to show up. Oh, very cinematic. I always 
just knew she'd be back. But what's she after? Everything. She's come to finish the job. Freedom, do they give him all the cigars that he wanted? <laughs> That's funny, Convict. Is it just one cigar that never goes out? I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Hmm. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Hmm. Don't matter to me, none. Well, it will. And it should. He underestimates Well, it matters her. to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her, and turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Won't like that. There's only one thing to do. She's not a fly. <laughs> yeah. And that's your answer for everything. Just put your cigar out so you can light it again. <laughs> it's the same length every time. So I guess this is goodbye, Doc. Well, you've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figured they might cut me some slack. You know, you could always stay here. Settle down, the glass and make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we've begun. She's offering you a great second chance. You're a good man, Jim Rayner. doesn't waste cigarettes. I was impressed by her perfectly manicured hands. So they have like well, a, she's a doctor on that ship somewhere? She's a doctor. She's gotta keep them, you know, clean. Area. Clean is one thing. Long and perfectly here. shaped is another. Mm-hmm. Will you enjoy killing me? 
think you killed my children? You're infested. You're dead already. I don't think so. Do it. Finish it. Fair. She wasn't, she wasn't the same person anymore. <sighs> Man, this guy is unlucky in love. <laughs> Construction. Fifty years, hmm. no one's ever escaped from New Folsom. New Folsom. We Folsom. broke it open in an afternoon. Nice. So it's a prison. I can hardly believe we pulled it off. Good. Fancy. You guys did good. You got butterfly knives still? Me and my specters have finished the job. We've killed Nix. And burn his dominion to the ground. Okay. Overthrowing Minsk is just the start. This is about building a better tomorrow. Don't you see? We just released every scientist, philosopher, and free thinker that ever challenged Minsk's rule. That was our real victory today. Are you really that naive? You super idealistic tomorrow for sure. Be a new Minsk and another one after that. doesn't factor into this. Our revolution's about freedom. You're very much half full. Mm -hmm. You'll see that better future, Matt. But it ain't for the likes of us.
Transmission coming in. It's Tosh. Didn't take long for him to gloat. Patch him through. Supposed to be me. You could have a great cross in me. Yes, it's not a hoodie dog. Oh, no. You're a scumbag, Tosh. I spent my whole life fighting men like you. <laughs> you and me, we're just the same. You don't get it at all. And now, you never will. What you gonna do, man? I'm six night years away. Not me. <gasps> oh, he's an assassin! Of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Uh, back when you were a good person. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave us. All ships prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Shots efficient. Keep going. Keep going, Kerrigan. She's not anymore. Oh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. You son of a bitch. Yeah. Now. Why should anyone fight for you leave people behind? Jen? What the hell's going on up there? I mean, I know what happens, but I'm still desperately hoping she runs and gets out of there. Freebird he's listening to? Nice! I've been cleaning up after you a lot lately. Leave it alone, Matt. Same dream? I said, leave it alone. What happened to Kerrigan wasn't your fault. Which part? Was she got left behind? Or was she murdered eight billion people? Same old bullshit. 
You ain't gonna listen. Matt, do you even see what you're becoming? We are who we choose to be, Matt. When you figure out, let us know. We're waiting on you. It's very true. I gave up on that man a long time ago. It's definitely like it's like this is space western. It's great. Sir, we've reached the rendezvous coordinates. No contacts. Looks like the Mobius ship hasn't arrived yet. That's strange. It ain't like them to be late. Sir, Dominion ship's warping in. Max's flagship is leading them. Sweet mother of mercy. When's this dude gonna get unleashed? Sir, their shields are still down. Just one bullet. I don't like this. Matt, pull us alongside and prep docking tubes. Commander, this is not a smart move. You wanted your revolution, kid. Now you got it. for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. Maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, Matt. Just like you always said. Oh, this guy's dead at the end. You know, Matt, 
Someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. No. Oh no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. Matt's gonna dry, die tragically. This is too good of a person for this world. <laughs> that doesn't seem to hold that deal in a very high survival regard. No, in these kind of movies, no. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, nice. I have big Leonard Skinner fans. Turn it up. Hey, you boys gotta wake up. Raiders sold us out. I joined this outfit to fight the Dominion, not work for them. Everybody simmer down. We trusted the commander before. We should trust him now. You can't trust that drunk. Jim Rayner's nothing but a spineless coward. You've been nothing but poison since you got on this crate. That right. Not pathetic. Only person you can trust is yourself. The sooner you peons figure that out. I've had enough of this. Good. Train this dude out. In a while, all of a sudden he turned on you, but... You got them all fooled, don't you, Jimmy? But the first sign of trouble, you'll just duck and run. That's this was you too, ain't it? Mm. Me, them, that pretty little girlfriend of yours. I'm kind of more pissed that you like wasted a cigar. That's not how you put it out. Ooh, nice dodge. Because if he hits you with that, you're fucked. Very close, though. Damn. Don't do something you're gonna regret, Titus. Not that you. for the Dominion now, Commander. I'm taking us back to Char. It's like you're gone already. This ain't about the Dominion. Our war's always been about saving lives. If the Zerg wipe everyone out, it's all been for nothing. So I'm going back to Char. If you're with me, it's your choice. Just like it's always been. Now that's the commander I've been waiting on. Yeah. Satisfied. <laughs> Let's get back to work, boys. That dude was in the wrong, like, movie. He looked like a dwarf. Like. Hmm? I don't want to have to have this conversation again. And fix my damn jukebox. And fix my damn jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's what I would say, too! Getting a bit too in character there, Hanson. Yeah. A little help I might have put out my cigar, too. Anybody? What 
do they come to save? Or to destroy? Flashlight sword like that. Also known as a lightsaber. Yeah, I'm not really like a lightsaber. She, she needed to live though, like or like. Yep. Because he he didn't want to. He's the, he was the telling, prophet. Yeah, he was telling Jim like not to kill her. Just so, like what you can kill her or try to kill her. Maybe he hadn't had his prophecy yet. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just. Or maybe that was always part of the prophecy. Was that he yeah. Goes, he tries. General, it ain't gonna fit into your nice clean timetable. I've led five separate invasions against the swarm. I held the line while you and your terrorist friends hid under a rock. We're all aware of your victories, General. I've invited Commander Rayner here to assist us with any unforeseen contingencies. Well, it sounds like you got it all figured out, you. I have far too much invested in this undertaking to see it fail. Speaking of which, you might particularly enjoy this next step. Valeria, well, I've just received a report you've taken half the fleet. You care to explain yourself, boy? Father, I am about to accomplish that which you never could. Today, I will defeat the Queen of Blades and secure peace throughout the Dominion. Ooh, By this that. act, the people will finally know that I am a worthy successor to you. Oh, kid. 
I love your gumption, son, and your men way over your head. What makes you think you have the experience here? Being alone, Arcturus. Reyna. I don't know what gutter my son fished you out of, but even you've got to realize that treacherous bitch cannot be saved. <laughs> and neither can you. We'll see about that. And when this is over, you and me got a score to settle. Damn right. <laughs> Everything I could have hoped for. You're playing a dangerous game here, kid. Yeah. You are way too cocky, dude. Attack waves and come already. So was that not part of your plan? No. Clear the bridge. I got a battle to win. I'll see you boys on the ground. I feel like he is his father's son. And this is not gonna go the way we hope.
Good to see you on your feet, General. That's quite an arm you got. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Yeah, you got a little upgrade after you got infected or whatever. I brought you boys a present. Reinforcements. A really big gun. That would be nice. The Zell Naga artifact is still a symbol. I hope to God it does what we think it does. Damn straight. Betting our asses on some alien piece of crap don't sit right with me. I hear you, Tychus. But if I was banking everything on that, I'd be quit already. Because hmm. here we are in the mouth of hell. And we made it this far by leaning on each other. <laughs> Whether it's blind luck or damn fool courage, in all my years, I've never seen anything like what you two jokers have pulled off. That <laughs> thing may be the key to stopping the Queen of Blades. But it's our sweat and blood that'll make it happen. After everything we've been through, past all the fire and fueling, the one thing that I know is that we can count on each other to get the job done. Or die trying, if that's what it takes. Some things are just worth fighting for. What have you done? I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. She dies. I go free. We all got our choices to make. So, uh, 
That was great. Um, I mean, you know, obviously there was, there was a lot that we missed in between this, the scenes, the cut scenes, like, you know, like a lot happens in, in the gameplay and whatnot. But I mean, I still feel like we got uh, a lot of the story and um, still felt very satisfying watching it. Yeah, I was um, surprised at basically the first half of this and how much of it really was a Western. Yeah. Um, which I, I enjoyed. And, and I, I think there's that, again, that wonderful juxtaposition. Because when you think of Westerns, you think of like old-fashioned, you think of back in the day, you think of historical. Yeah. Um, so that juxtaposition of like the Western, but then the modernization of space and fighting aliens <laughs> is just really enjoyable. Funny enough, at the center of it all is a love story. Yeah. As so many of the best stories are of what shapes our lives, it's it's love, whether it's for friends, for lovers, for family. I mean, it's, it's all money makes the world go around, as they say, but really, it's love. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, apparently in the future, uh, bros before hoes is not a thing, so... <laughs> it's just... Are you could have knocked him out? You had to kill him? We didn't but... see him dead. I have learned with modern movies that unless you see the person dead, they're, they're not officially dead. True, true. He, he could not be dead, but uh, pro he's probably dead. Um, Tychus is probably... Uh, had to be taken out, and um, you got to make your own choices. And, you know, Tychus had made his choice, and uh, his freedom was more important than his friend's love for, uh, for, for Sarah. Put in the same position, if you, if you were possessed by, by the Zerg, and uh, I had a way to you know, possibly save you, and my friends wanted to, wanted to kill you, I, 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 would, I would shoot them in the face, just so you know. So don't ever do that if you're my friend. Glad we established that. Yeah, um, I also really love the common theme of choices throughout this. Yeah. Um, and I love that line, you are who you choose to be. And I think that's true. I don't think we always consciously like make that choice as to who we're going to be, but it is the series of choices we make along the way that do determine our character. So whether through conscious decision or unconscious decision from a, a wide variety of choices that we've made, we are making that decision. We're, we're making it every day. So I've always been like the sort of idealist and the hopeless romantic and the whole idea of fate and all that jazz. I had, I think probably mostly as I was younger and a teenager, um, but as I grew up, I'm like, no, there's something really empowering about realizing that it is your choices. It is you. You are the singular responsible party, not somebody pulling the strings and using you like a puppet, but truly you carving out your own path. And, I like that idea. Yeah. And, and I think it's important, the, the, the fact of, like, you are who you choose to be is, like, a lot of times, uh, especially, like, you know, like, in, in, in our society and, like, you know, in, in American culture or whatever, it's, like, you are defined by what you do for a living. Mm -hmm. You are who you choose to be is more than, you are just more than your job. You are more, more than, you know, your, your occupation. You, who you choose to be, like you said, is character. And that is who you are at your core and also whoever created this obviously is a big Leonard Skinner fan because yeah. between Free Bird and uh, Sweet Home Alabama those are the two songs where I was like okay like so this person really likes uh, Le Leonard Skinner and you know that's and I, I had no problems with that nope. so the guy that died like like when he, when he had the little tag was that my idealist was his I name Matt and I think that's who it was was had that who had the tags it didn't seem like he, he didn't appear again after that. He didn't appear again after that. I didn't think he was going to be someone that, that, that did end up making it. And, um, you know, uh, it was going to be someone that Jim uh, would have to, like, you know, carry on for. And, like, it's like, you know, this is this is, this is is who we're doing it for. Like, you know, the, the, the idealists like this, like the good people. I think Jim is under no false impression about, well, like, again, the type of man that he is, the type of a, a person that he is, and that he has chosen to be, the choices that he has made in life. You know, he kind of sees... Uh, that, you know, he wanted, he didn't want to be the leader. He wanted someone better than him to be the leader. Uh, which and, is in of itself a mark of a good leader. Exactly, which in and of itself is, is a mark of a good leader, is someone that surrounds themselves, like, you know, you don't, if you're a leader and you're the smartest person in the room, then you're not doing a good job. You want to be a leader that has, like, everyone else in the room is smarter than you, so they're giving you the right advice, so you can <laughs> properly lead. Uh, and you know, cause if you just think, uh, you know, you, you, you know best, then that's, you know, that's, the, that's where you get the, like, the guys that are, what's his name? Machinist or whatever. The jerk. The asshole. The guy that, the, the guy that, 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 was, that the bullet was for, that was originally intended for, which kind of reminded me of Pirates of the Caribbean, where Jack Sparrow was pointing the gun at, uh, Orlando Bloom, 
and was just saying this this bullet is not meant for you. Yeah. You know, and and that was kind of thing. It wasn't meant for Tychus, and uh, well, and they called him a pirate too. At one point, they said you're a pirate, so there's yeah. that connection as well. There's that connection as well. Yeah, so look, really looking forward to uh, the next part, Heart of the Swarm. We're going to do that next Monday, and uh, we have a playlist down below in the description of this video. For all of our StarCraft reactions, you can see our Triple Trailer Tuesdays, which is how we got involved in StarCraft 2, which was a while ago, and then eventually we wanted to get to um, the StarCraft scenes, and we just knew it was going to take a while, and so finally, you know, we're, we're finally getting to it. Sometimes it takes us a, a long time to, to get to things. Sometimes we get to it right away. It's just, it's just toss up. Thanks so much for checking out our StarCraft journey part two. Um, but just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.